of our game, shot blocking, rebounding, size wise. And, uh, you know, we came into Utah. Utah played uh, us the last game of the season. So we had a, a look at them. Um, they lost um, O'Kerr, one of their steady ball players, you know, one of the great three-point shooters for centers in the league, and it changed up how we were able to play that series a little bit and got ourselves through that series quickly. And, you know, that was a, a benefit for us. Houston was a different story altogether. They were uh, fast. They were a very um, driven team ball player. Uh, they did a good job and uh, you know spacing out the court getting accomplished what they wanted to do they had two defenders to throw at Kobe and our test and uh, a Battier and so they were uh, a really a worthy opponent pushed us to seven games and I thought that really made us a team that we you know got to be in the playoffs we understood what we had to get accomplished and we did a job uh, from that time forth I thought played very good basketball <clears throat> Denver was physical and, and quick. They're an elite team in this league. We know that. They played extremely well at the end of the year. And we were able to come back after, uh, you know, a 2-2 start in that series and uh, finish them off. And, you know, this obviously was a game I didn't expect tonight, to be honest with you. I thought we'd have to struggle a little bit. We got a run in the second period and we're able to, you know, get some distance and play our game from then on. Second row. Phil, I asked you before the uh, game tonight about the historic aspects of it. I know it seemed you were a bit reluctant to talk about that. Can you take a step back now? You have done something no coach has ever done. You've won more championships than any coach in NBA history. What does that mean to you, and can you talk about the historical significance of it? I can, but I'd like to say that it's really about the players. It's about you know Kobe Bryant. It's about uh, Derek Fisher's leadership, the team. Uh, you know, I, I tried to take them through some of the build-up things that we had to do last year as a basketball club. They came together this year and were self-motivated. And, uh, you know, for a coach, that's always a positive sign. Uh, when team's ready, they're, they're aggressive, their um, learning curve was high, and they, they wanted to win. And, uh, you know, I've always felt as a coach, you have to push your team. And, uh, you know, I told them they had to push themselves. Uh, you know, I wasn't at the stage of my life where I could get out and do the things that I had done 10 years ago or 15 years ago to push a team. And uh, they pushed themselves, and uh, I really feel strongly that this is about them. However, <clears throat> having won 10 championships is a remarkable accomplishment. There's, there's no doubt about it. Uh, watching those games click down and uh, a championship on all different f forms and fashions, on the road, at home, uh, players that uh, vault themselves into team play uh, is a remarkable thing to have watched. I think the, um, I've always said this before, the journey is what's really important. And, and it's important for the players and the coaches uh, to watch these kids come together and form a unit and be supportive of each other. And this was no exception, this team. Thank you. On the opposite side. Uh, Phil, on a night you pass Red Auerbach, is it, uh, would it be hard for you not to think of your coach, Red Holtzman, in, in the days maybe after this and leading up to this? Because I'm, I'm sure he, and would you imagine he probably would really enjoy watching you pass, pass the other Red? Well, he took, uh, you know, he took a lot of pride in his coach, Harrison, uh, who coached the Rochester Royals. Um, I was at the Hall of Fame induction at one point for Walt Frazier, and the two of them came over and said, well, you know, you're really our grandson. Uh, Red's your, your father, and I'm his, his, his father, so you're really my grandson. And, you know, Harrison was obviously one of the founders of the NBA and, and a, a great basketball coach and, and he, an owner um, in his own right. So, uh, you know, there is a legacy that's, that came that direction with me. But, you know, I've had a lot of people that have supported me. Uh, Tex Winter, obviously, who's, you know, back in Portland recovering from a stroke. And... Um, you know, obviously my uh, my college coach, Bill Fitch, who's a big, strong supporter of me over the years, have all been uh, very important in my coaching career. Phil, you, you've never gone this long between championships. Does, does that make it a little more uh, important, maybe impressive in your book? Well, when, uh, you know, I was in Australia and uh, the uh, Lakers made a coaching change. Um, 
Jeannie Buss called me up and asked me to come back and take the team at that particular moment. And I said, no, I, I can't do that. That's just not fair to the team. It's not fair to, you know, the players and, and myself. You know, I'm in the middle of an off year. And I said, I'd have to think about it in a long time because this team is quite a ways from a championship, even though Kobe Bryant always gives you a chance to win. And... Um, so over the next two and a half months, I spent some time thinking about it and you know, rekindling my energy to come back and coach. But when I came back, I, I didn't anticipate we'd win. I wouldn't be part of it. I thought maybe I'd build the steps to, to a winning team, but I didn't think I'd be part of it. And this is much quicker than I thought it happened. In the middle. Phil, uh, you talk about how it's all about the journey. Can you, your journey with Kobe Bryant has gone a, a long ways from him as a young player, winning those three championships. What, he's, he talked about it after he won. You grow as a man and you grow as a person. How much have, have you seen on your journey with him together? Well, there, there was a point in uh, Kobe's first, second year when we sat together and watched tape. I wanted him to understand you know, his impact on the game a little bit and my feeling about his impact on the game. Um, we'd had a game in Toronto and, and he got hooked up with Vince Carter in the middle of a fourth quarter and they kind of exchanged baskets and I, I thought it took our team out of their team play. And, you know, the game was much harder than it should have been. And so I talked to him a little bit about leadership and about the quality and the, his ability to be a leader. And he said, yeah, I'm ready to be a captain right now. And I said, but no one's ready to follow you, you know. And, uh, you know, he was 22 at the time. He was a young guy. And, and um, in those eight years that have ensued from that period, um, you know, he's learned how to become a leader in a way in which people want to follow him. And I think that's really important for him to have learned that because he's, he knew that he had to give to get back in return. And, and so he's become a giver rather, just a guy that's a demanding leader, and that's been great for him. And it's been great to watch. Jay, we, we got Kobe coming in next. Phil, along those same lines, would you say that that second quarter was kind of representative of that uh, during that stretch where you, you pulled away three assists in that span? Uh, yep. th is that kind of the, what you're talking about there, the gist of it? Yes, there was just that little feel right there in the game where they were vulnerable and we took advantage of it. And uh, Kobe was, uh, you know, the, the thrust that created the shots for guys and the opportunities for guys on the floor. And, you know, that was, you know, really our chance. We said at halftime, we get another opportunity like that. We, we, could, we have this game in, in hand if we can just crack one more, you know, three-minute span like that and get some turnovers and runouts. We'll do it again. Kobe said, you know, I'll push the ball and I'll find guys if you guys run the court. Thanks, Coach. Kobe Thanks. Bryant will be right in.